Just a quick disclaimer, pot is legal in New Jersey, so I'm not breaking any laws. What is going on everyone? We are back with a Q&A today. I'm sorry I haven't posted any vlogs recently, but I just had no one really to record and I did get some footage the other day, but I just kind of wanted to cut it out. Anyway, this Q&A today is gonna to be a little bit different. I'm actually going to answer my questions somewhat baked right now, like I'm not too bad. I'm actually able to function. So, let's get started. How big are your forearms slash measure them right now, daddy? All right, so for this one, I'm gonna have to use my little body measurement tape. I may measure out, I doubt you can see, but just a little under 15 inches. Jesus, I didn't realize how big my forearms were. How big is your dick? First off, I stuck for the lot. Secondly, I'm not answering that question. Oh, I really bad cotton mouth right now. Advice for feeling that you're not making as much progress as you think you should be. Yeah. What? That's really loud. Sorry. Right. I'll be a little more quiet. Alright. Yeah. Alright, love you. Love you too. Well, first off, I wouldn't look at anything, any sort of recent pictures or be looking at yourself every day because when you look at yourself every day you're not going to notice any changes however what I do recommend is go back to maybe a few months before or even a year before and look how far you've come in that period of time and you'll realize that you actually have made progress what would you credit most for building those insane front lats to be honest when I was back in Ireland I wasn't able to train so I had to do pull-ups outside my bathroom for whatever it was, three months. So I was doing that three days a week, and I'd say that probably helped a bit. Most underrated exercise. Well, the thing is, you didn't specify for which body part, but I said in a previous video that the most underrated back exercise are back extensions. See how you go on and off cycle. How does that affect mental health and body dysmorphia? See, the thing is, I don't really go off cycle. I go on the TRT cruising dose but it doesn't really affect my mental health that much. My mental health was taking a dip when the gyms closed because when I actually came back here and I was able to train in a gym, I felt fine because I'm currently on TRT right now. So my mental health has been totally fine with body dysmorphia. How many shots would it take for you to have sex with Shrek? Well, the thing about me is, yeah, you know, like, I, I don't know, like Shrek can get it, so. I don't think I need any. A million dollars or a million cars? That's the easiest question ever, a million cars, because you can sell 500,000 of them, and you well know you're getting more than $2 per car. So that will still leave you with a million dollars and 500,000 cars. But realistically, you'd be selling a car for a couple thousand, so. Hey, Black Widow or Scarlet Witch? All right, I know that Black Widow would be like mad freaky and flexible and shit like that, but Scarlet Witch, the thing about her is, yeah, she'd be doing some weird magic on you. And I feel like you could bust the craziest nuts with her. But like when it comes to looks as well, I don't know. I think they're both sexy. I do like Wanda though. But then again, oh, it's a tough one. I'll, I'll, I'll call it a draw. What's your biggest achievement to date? Okay, so in bodybuilding, winning the Spring Classic in 2019 in general, I don't know, that's kind of up there. I'm pretty proud of myself about that. Favorite and current workout split. Okay, so I was doing PPL, which I actually prefer best, push-pull legs, for those of you who don't know. And I was doing that six days a week, taking a rest day either every fourth day or every seventh day. Because I, I, I enjoy it just because of the frequency and how you get to hit everything twice. And my current workout split right now I am doing PPL, but I'm gonna be switching to push, pull, rest, upper, lower, upper, rest. Because that's what worked really well with me on prep last year. And I'm pretty sure it'll carry over again for this year. Pro card this year or when? Ideally, I would love to win it this year. And I'm gonna be busting my ass for the next 12 weeks to see if I can get it. If I don't get it, it's not the end of the world because I'm still young and I've only been competing, whatever, two or three years. I've only been training for five and a half years, so this is something that takes years and years to fight for. 
And if I do get this year, then happy days. Who's your inspiration? See, I used to have different inspirations for like different parts of life. I still would, but if we're talking about, I guess, for bodybuilding or fitness or whatever, as cocky as this sounds, I like using myself as my own inspiration. What exercise do you like best? Deadlifts, 100%. I have to deadlift. How do you overcome physique and strength criticism? Well, I'm my biggest critic, so I know what needs to be worked on. So I, I don't really, you know, I handle it fairly well. Strength criticism, I know I'm not crazy strong. So if someone calls me weak, it's like, all right. But I'm stronger than most people, so that's kind of cool. What's the cycle plan for the upcoming show? No need dosages, but what's that? Right, so I'm actually meant to be starting soon. And for the first show, it's mainly just going to be the big three. If you guys know that, I don't feel like going into complete detail. And then I'll be taking some sort of fat burners, so yeah. Hello, you have reached the intermission of the vlog, or Q&A, whatever the hell it is. And I have to go downstairs now because I'm actually being a bit too loud. See, the reason why is because it's fucking half 11 at night. And see, I only personally smoke weed right before bed because there's no point in doing it during the day or else you won't be productive. And the main reason why I do it before bed is because I am dieting and it relaxes me and it gives me a nice deep sleep. Okay, so we are back. Sorry, I had to go downstairs. I know the backdrop isn't nearly as nice as it was before, but here we go. This is a pretty deep one, so I'm gonna have to think a lot. If we are all going to die anyways, why do we bother doing anything at all? Now, wow. I feel like we do it for our own pleasure. Like we need to keep ourselves busy so we can keep motivated to live. Because when you're not doing anything, you get depressed and you feel lazy and like you're useless almost. Hence why the lockdowns in Ireland people's mental health was going down and the suicide rate has gone up a lot because of that. So I feel like keeping busy and giving us a purpose is what keeps us going. Jesus, that was a really fucking deep question. What the hell? All right, let's lighten up here now. Quickest day from point A to point B, asking for a friend. I believe that's a straight line. That's what v -Shirt said, so a straight line. What is your relationship with Danny Russo? Danny Russo is my lover, of course, but he's also my son. I know it's some weird sweet home Alabama type shit, but it makes sense. Best strategy to pull at the club? See, I don't really have a strategy, mainly because I don't really try to pull in clubs. Not that I don't have the ability, it's more of me just, I don't know, I feel like kind of gross just hooking up with some random chick, but if you do want to move to a chick that you do think is nice, just go up and say hi or crack a joke, make them laugh. Boys, laughter is the key to any girl's heart. Trust me on this one. What gives you the ick? All right, bear with me here, but I really hate it if a girl is super, super liberal or has zero personality or sense of humor. Like you could be as hot as you want, but if you have no personality, then what helps when you lose motivation at the gym? Honestly, this kind of reminds me of the previous question in a way. If I'm ever losing motivation at the gym, I will look back on my prep archives and be like, wow, I actually was able to get to that shape with help, of course, from coaches. But at the end of the day, me or whoever is in this instance is doing the work or had done the work and they have the ability to do it. So just look back on past pictures. That'll just fuel that fire even more. Because when I was feeling down about not training, I was thinking to myself, hey, if I'm able to maintain, imagine what's gonna happen when I'm back in Jersey and able to train, which I'm so totally grateful for. Shout out to my dad for that. Do you wipe standing up or sitting down asking for a friend? I never expected myself to ever get this question, but standing up, and here's why, because if I'm doing it sitting down, like bending over, I don't want my junk to be 
touching the bowl because I would feel disgusting. Should you take Tinder seriously? Short answer, no. However, if you end up do somehow liking a chick that you ended up getting with, then fuck it, why not? But initially, I'd say no. Last and final question. If you had the chance to fuck any of your boy mates, who would it? I assume it's who would it be? Just says who would it? But like, I'm not about that life. I stuck for the love, but you know, since it's for the Q and A, no homo. I don't know, man. My friends are all equally beautiful, so I'd want to. Oh God, that sounds so. Ah, God, this is so hard. Not me calling all my friends beautiful and then just being like, thinking about doing that. A stunt for the love, bro. Fuck, man. Ah, I don't want to, because I feel like if I pick someone, then what if the other boys are offended that they're not good looking? But then again, they won't be offended because it's like the most gay question I've ever received in my life. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that shit. Maybe, I, I don't know, bro. Uh, I'll just say Danny, just because he was the one who asked the question. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not gonna lie. Trying to answer some of these questions were actually really fucking hard. The first half I feel like was a lot easier. These last few questions, which I don't even know why I was like, oh, this is the intermission. But in reality, I'm pretty sure that like the beginning will or would be longer. I don't know. Fuck. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm so sorry for dragging this out, but don't forget to like the video, comment down below what you want to see more of. Subscribe to the channel for more content, even more content like this. I might do this every now and then because I actually did have fun answering these questions. And stay tuned for the next episode of Road to Pro, which should be out sometime during the week. Anyway, that's all. Peace.